Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney here today to talk to you about Science Journal. Science Journal is an Android app from Google that works really nicely on Chromebooks. Now, normally I come at you with full throated endorsements about something, a tool I'm sharing. This one I'm a little bit more ambivalent on, and I think it's because Google's ambivalent on it. They released it in spring 2016, and they just haven't had much follow up since. So let me show you how this works. So if you're in Science Journal, now as a teacher, check this out. If you go to the veggie burger in the upper left and click on activities, that will actually take you out of the app and you go to this page right here, Making in Science, it's with Google. And there are some very nice activities. I'll link this in the notes below. There are these very nice activities that you can use. There's also a little video here and it, a little tutorial. It's pretty nice. They actually made three YouTube videos about Science Journal. And again, those are all from spring 2016. And there's just been no follow up since then. So I don't know if they're ambivalent about it. I think Science Journal is nice because it's just a nice place to document what kids do in a lab. And if they have a Chromebook, they can do this. There is no web app for it. You click plus and it gives you these uh, the ability to do all these observations. You go into edit, you can choose a photo, and there you can choose one of your photos from your uh, hard drive. So here I'll choose this one, we'll click open, and then that would be your um, experiment photo, and then you can give it a title as well. Now, observations. So you can add written observations down here. Here's an oscillator for sound intensity, and that's great and all, but not all of your experiments will have to do with sound. I'm trying to get really loud, and you can see it's going up a little bit, so that's really cool. And here it's actually going to record what I say and keep that with the file notes for the experiment. So that has some pretty cool applications right there. I'll stop that recording. And now you see it's part of the record of the experiment. For photos, you can take photos, but as you can see, it's going to be the webcam. My hope is that most web, uh, these Google Chromebooks that come out have a world facing camera in tablet mode, but real quick, I'll just take that. And now that is now added. Oh, and look, it's just Maybe if I try, oh, there we go. That would be better. But again, with your webcam, actually, but kids could hold up a little piece of something, a little, all right, this is part of our experiment. So that actually does have some cool applications. But again, I'm using an Asus C302, which I really like, but it would be nicer if it had a world-facing webcam and or world-facing camera in tablet mode. Here, I'll take another picture. One other thing that would be nice is if that had a video component. By the way, notice I can actually add some text there as well. That's really cool. So that's nice. And then here you can put a picture from your hard drive. So there's that. I'll put that in there. And so as you can see, you can add all these things. And if nothing else, it's working as a nice way to you just X out of that to record information and document information. If I go here, I can archive, do that. And then again, there's your settings and whatnot. So you can constantly add observations and things that you want to put there. So I do think it has some good applications. I just wish that Google would follow up with this. It's a nice tool. But come on, Google, and also let's integrate video into it as well. If you want to talk about this more or have any questions, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.